Pet Cemetery is directed by Mary Lambert and is based on the Stephen King novel, Pet Cemetery, which tells the story of a family who moves in next to a really interesting neighbor who introduces them to a place called Pet Cemetery, where you could supposedly bury your pets and they come back to life. I'll admit, this is one of Stephen King's more far-fetched stories. I don't really buy into the concept a whole lot myself. In certain ways it works. But let's talk about the movie as a whole, because there are a lot of problems with it. Overall, this movie feels like it was once a train wreck and was kind of salvaged by a committee of people who work for a movie studio, and that's ultimately the pet cemetery that we got. I'm not saying that's what happened, but that's just how it feels. I don't feel like the script is incredibly strong. I think it's fine at best, and it works for the film. The performances across the board are pretty melodramatic. The only thing that really works in this movie is Fred Gwynn, who actually does a really excellent job. And let me tell you, you have not lived until you've heard Fred Gwynn say the word ticky tape. I think the key word here is imagery, and director Mary Lambert really knew how to execute imagery in order to serve the story while making the movie somewhat frightening because of it. I know that this movie is beloved by some, but for me this movie is, again, just fine. It's really nothing more than that. It's a pretty fun little horror film you can watch when you get your buddies together. But other than that, it's not one that I just go out of my way to watch other than to do a review on it like I am right now. And it could just be the concept isn't my cup of tea, although there are problems from a filmmaking perspective. I do find that this concept bores me just a little bit. I actually had a fight sleep while watching it this time around. I must say though, once you get to the third act, it's not hard to stay awake. It's incredibly intense. It's fun to watch. It's easily the best part of this film. Something happens midway through the movie, and you should feel a little bit more when this in particular event happens, and you really just don't. And this is kind of the point where you just kind of say, okay, something's not working about this movie. The young actress who plays the daughter is extremely annoying and can get on my nerves constantly throughout this film. Like I said, this is overall a fine horror film. It's not terrible, it's rewatchable, and you could put it on with your buddies and have a good time with it, kind of laugh at the bad things while having a good time with the good things in the film. And that's just kind of what Pet Cemetery is. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and give Pet Cemetery a C+. Guys, thank you for watching my review of Pet Cemetery. I'm very excited for the new one coming out. And also, stay tuned for my review of Get Out. I'm very excited to do that for you guys. As always, I've been Don Martino. I'm going to put my Twitter and Instagram in the description below. So be sure to follow me there. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more content. That is much appreciated. And hit a like button below. And also, leave some comments in the comment section. I would also appreciate that very much. I do enjoy your feedback. This has been my review of Pet Cemetery. Thank you for watching. I don't want